These are the FarmBot aluminum extrusions. The aluminum extrusions are what form FarmBot's primary structure and also its linear guides, allowing FarmBot to move around very precisely in the X, Y, and Z directions. These aluminum extrusions are a pretty cool design. They're open source and they're developed, developed by OpenBuilds. You can check out their website at openbuildspartsstore.com uh, to order these extrusions or you can order them from us as part of a kit and soon uh, in our online shop individually. So these aluminum extrusions are anodized black uh, and we got that because we think it looks really great when out in the garden setting uh, and it looks really professional uh, with some of the FarmBot plates and other components. Uh, there's a few different sizes and there's eight different extrusions included in each FarmBot Genesis kit. Uh, so this one right here is the gantry column along with this here, so there's two of them. It's the 20 millimeter by 60 millimeter size. And uh, these are 500 millimeters long with the version 1.2 kits. What's really neat about the aluminum extrusions is two things. One, this slot here on all the sides, uh, that allows us to attach components like the plates and the uh, plastic pieces and other little mounting brackets to these extrusions anywhere along the slot. We use a special nut called a T-nut that slots in here. Uh, so that's really neat because it'll, it's like a big erector set. You can really very quickly assemble farm by and then you can reconfigure components and tighten them uh, with just a, one simple screwdriver. So that's a really nice feature of using aluminum extrusions. Something else that's great about this particular design from Open Builds is what's called the V-slot. So right here, you can see these two faces are angled at a nice V. And so that allows us to use the V-shaped wheels and they move along the track. Again, these are not only a structural component, but also the linear guide of FarmBot. So the wheels will ride on the top and bottom of these aluminum extrusions and allow FarmBot to move in the X, Y, and Z directions. So these are the gantry columns. Again, they're 500 millimeters long, the 20 by 60 size. This is the Z-axis extrusion. It's the 20 by 20 millimeter size, and uh, I believe it's 800 millimeters. Um, this is the gantry main beam. This is 20 by 60 millimeter, and it's 1500 millimeters long, or 1.5 meters. This spans the two gantry columns and is what moves along the tracks in the X direction. And then the cross slide will move across this in the Y direction. And these are the track extrusions. They're the 20 by 40 millimeter size. They're each 1.5 meters long as well. And there's four of them in a kit. So there's two tracks in a farm bot, the left and the right side. And then there's two of these extrusions per track. And so you have a total length of three meters in the version 1.2 farm bot Genesis kits. In the future, we anticipate offering extension kits as well as larger farm bots that would include more tracks and potentially even a wider uh, gantry. Uh, also in the future, we may offer taller farm bots that are suited for taller plants, uh, which would have longer or taller Z-axis extrusions and uh, gantry columns. But right now, the current kits are all the same size according to these specifications. So if you want to learn more, make sure to scroll through the Bill of Materials and you can see more technical specifications for each of these components. You can check out their weight, their price, where you can buy them, and uh, as well as download the 3D CAD models and 2D drawings. All right, thanks.